Okay, here at Red Blood, uh, favorite stop on the whole tour this year. And uh, man, we had a little bit of rain overnight and uh, yesterday and kind of made the track a little bit moist. And uh, looks like it's gonna get kind of ruddy today. And uh, there's talking more rain later on today. So we're kind of in a waiting pattern on if we need to go full med mud setup or not. And uh, we're prepared either way, but um, it's kind of nice having either option of being a dry day or a rainy day. It's gonna, if it's gonna rain, it's, I would like for it to rain all day and just deal with it, and, uh, but we're kinda at a holding pattern, so we're gonna see what happens, and we've got a lot of good friends and family uh, making the trip up here, so always good to have that, and uh, see what we can do, and hopefully we can uh, try to claw our way back into this point chase and take it down to Loretta's. You know, I rode with some mud tires early on this week, just preparing myself and doing everything I could to you know, be ready for this rain, and. We haven't had a mud race yet. We've been really lucky missing, dodging the rain at every race so far. So, you know, I knew it was going to happen and uh, we're prepared for it. We're ready for anything. And, you know, hopefully we can just go out there and get a podium, uh, not lose points. If I can, split points. And, uh, you know, if it works out, I'll gain points. But either way, just come out on the podium and uh, stay uh, in the championship hunt for Loretta's. For me, if it's going to rain, let it pour. Let's let's have a full mudder or let's have some dry racing. But we've got enough rain so far. I think the track will be mint come race time as long as we don't get any more. Looking forward to it. Looking carrying this momentum. But it's uh, still a big tight points race for third place between me and Jeffrey. And I think we're going to be duking it out these last two. So it's going to be some good racing today.
I'm super stoked right now. It's been, I think, about three years since I've won last time, and it feels awesome. The whole day was just great, but I'm so stoked right now. We did good. We made up some points. We're in third, and, man, I'm just looking forward to finish off this year strong, but I just can't thank my whole team enough. Big shout-out to everybody that supports me. We finally got back up there. We're going to center of that box. What's up, guys? We just finished up Moto2 here at Red Bud. Uh, obviously, it's Red Mud today. You know, Moto2, I knew I had to I had to win a moto or beat them today to maintain my points lead, and that's exactly what I did in Moto2. It, it, the rain came down nasty, and this place is just, it is muddy right now. And, uh, you know, I got kind of squirrely on the whole shot, got some contact with Chad, um, and I, I managed to come out probably seventh or eighth and came through the pack and um, finished up second in the moto, which gave me second overall in the day and gained one point, I'm pretty sure. So we're looking good heading into Loretta's and uh, we're ready for that. Hopefully we've got some dry weather there and we can have an intense battle, me and Chad. And you know, now Thomas is up in the mix, so I'm, I'm happy for him and we've got a lot of racing left. So uh, we'll see you there. Uh, second moto came into the first term third and uh, Joel spun me out. So we got the gloves off for the next round and we're gonna do everything we can to uh, try and get this championship going our direction and uh, you know, just a huge props to my support group and my team and uh, Wiener Motorsports Yamaha. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to the Reds. We're going to work hard and uh, see what we can do.